Hey, what's good guys? This is Key P with BeatsByKey.com. Today, I am actually gonna show you how to install the Waves preset kits that I offer. The first thing that you wanna do right away is download Studio Rack from Waves. So what you do is you go to waves.com, go to downloads, and you go to free downloads. Yes, it's absolutely free. You just have to, um, you just have to make a profile, I believe. The next thing that you wanna do is Studio Rack. All you gotta do is click get free. It'll take you to the next page. So once you've created an account, it'll tell you how to install it from there. So yeah, just make sure you get Studio Rack first. And then once you've actually installed Studio Rack and loaded it to your DAW, whatever DAW you use, so whether that's Pro Tools, Studio One, Logic, uh, Ableton, Cubase, or FL Studio, etc. I mean, whatever, whatever DAW that you're using that accepts these Waves plugins, you just want to make sure that you load the presets into Studio Rack. For this example, you could see that I'm in FL Studio. You could see that my main vocals is set to seven and it is right here, track to seven. So these are my main vocals and my effects, but I'm gonna show you how to install it. So how you actually load the presets into Studio Rack. Um, you want to, first of all, load Studio Rack into your main vocals so just make sure that you apply these presets to your vocal track directly so load studio rack into your main vocal whatever DAW you're using just make sure it's into your main vocal track directly and then once you loaded studio rack you're gonna go to load open preset file and then you're gonna locate the vocal preset folder that you downloaded from me and then all you got to do is double click the uh, the main vocal or whatever whatever one you're gonna be using all you got to do is double click it now how it's labeled you have the main vocals that's essentially your EQ and compression making sure you got leveled clean and crisp vocals if you will and then you have the main vocal effects so you can see here and that's essentially your reverb delay chorus flanger whatever kind of effects that are added how you load this is you want to make sure that you load the main vocals first and the order does matter you want to make sure you load the main vocals first so you double click the main vocals and it will load everything into studio rack so that's all you got to do and then the next thing that you do is you load the effects you go to load open preset file main vocal effects so that's essentially how you do it it'll load there you go. It sounded like this before. Playing games, darkness in our veins, every day. And then all you gotta do, see, so I just turned them off and now I'm turning these vocal effects on. So again, you have your, actually, we'll use this for an example since it's already labeled. Again, you have your main vocal and your effects. And this is what it sounds like now. Playing games, darkness in our veins, every day. Yeah, so there's a huge difference there, huh? <laughs> so that should excite you guys, knowing that I don't sound anything like Travis Scott, but you apply these vocal effects, and it sounds halfway decent. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, just make sure that, again, the order does matter. Make sure that you apply the main vocals first, and then the effects right after. And the same goes for the ad-libs. So you can see here that I loaded the ad-libs, so the main ad-libs, and then the ad-libs effects right after. The next thing that you want to do is save these presets to your menu. So once you've loaded your main vocal into Studio Rack, you simply press save, put into preset menu as. You can save this as whatever you want. For this, for this example, I'm going to say Travis Scott main vocal. Press OK. Now, why is this helpful? This is helpful because it eliminates the extra steps of finding the main vocals or the main vocal effects in the folder. So now this way, if you load a new studio rack, all you have to do is press load. And you can see right there that that's where it's saved. So that is pretty much how you install the Waves preset kits in any DAW that accepts the Waves plugins. I tried really hard to make sure that it's easy for you guys to understand. If for some reason you don't understand, just contact me and I'll try to help out as much as I can. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I appreciate you guys' time and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace.